Oh, I'm recording right now. Whoops. Uh, okay, so for this part, I want to say that... What, am I, what do I want to say? Oh, the compare to method. Um, you should look that up in the book. It's very straightforward. Um, you, you compare two strings, and it either returns a zero if the strings are exactly the same. Uh, we did this last in the last project, too, or I mean the, the last homework assignment as well. So I think there's a video for that. Or we did that in class. Hopefully you're, you remember compared to. Um, and then it returns a negative if the first string comes before the second string. And then a positive uh, if it's the other way around. Um, look that up either in the book. It's very simple. Or um, in the last section for the homework that we did. But what I really want to talk about is uh, the fact that strings are immutable. What the heck does that mean? Uh, strings are objects. And then I've, I've created some stuff. I created an array, which is an object, I think. I'm pretty sure. I should test this out. I'm going to test this out. Might need to be an array list, but let me let me see. Um, so let's see. Let's pause. Nope, we're good. Okay, so here's, here's what I've done. Um, I've created uh, an array uh, that holds integers. So this is an object. Uh, arrays are objects. Strings are also objects, but strings are immutable, which means that uh, it, they don't work the, like normally for, as, as other objects do. So when we pass um, an object to a method, we're actually passing the reference uh, address. We're passing the address. So when we change an object inside a method, uh, the actual object gets changed because we're just passing the, the address. The, it points to that, that same thing. So if we change it, we're changing the contents of where that's stored. Except for strings. Even though strings are objects, they're, they act a little bit differently. Um, and that's just a characteristic of Java. In other programming languages, it's not like this for strings, but uh, in Java it is. So what the heck am I talking about? Let's remember, uh, so I created an array which is an object and I have let's get rid of that and that so I have an object the array and I'm going to print it out first so I, the first thing I'm going to do is print out one two three four except for I'm using print line so it'll be one two three four it'll it'll be column in a column and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run change array and I'm going to put the array into that. So I have this method change r and what it does is it takes the zeroth spot which is that one and changes it to negative 18. And then what I'm going to, but it doesn't return anything. That's the important part is I'm not returning. Remember for uh, objects except for strings when I pass an object, it passes the address for that object. So when I change it, I'm actually changing the actual contents at that address. Whereas for strings, it makes a copy, just like primitive variable types. It, it actually makes a copy uh, just for strings. I'm not exactly sure why, but that's what uh, happened with Java. So when you pass the array to this method, you're passing the address, and then at this address, so this is an address, it's pointing to the zeroth spot at the address for array, and it changes it to 18, negative 18, and then it prints it out again. So this one, even though I'm not returning anything, this actually gets changed. That's the, the key uh, right now. So let me show you that. So first I, I print out uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then I change the array, and then I print out one, two, three, four, again, except for actually it's not one, it's negative 18, uh, be, even though I didn't return anything here. That's the, the key for objects, other than strings. If you do it to a string, it's not the same way. Strings work in a similar way to um, integers and doubles uh, and, and longs. They, they act, you actually pass a copy of it. So I wanted to illustrate that. So what I'm going to do, or what I did, was I created a method that takes in a string and modifies it. So it modifies this string. It doesn't return anything. And let's see what happens. So right now, so maybe let me get rid of all of this. 
So I have this uh, right now where I have string word three has the word hello in it and I don't change it elsewhere. So right now it has hello, maybe I'll print it out beforehand. No, yeah. Uh, so I'll print out hello first. And then even though a string is an object, it actually doesn't get changed. It, this is actually a copy. So what, when we're changing x, it's, we're, we're not even looking at word three anymore. It's actually a copy of word three. So we do that, nothing is returned. So when I print out word three again, it's not gonna say, um, hello, top. It's gonna just say hello still. So if I, so when I run this, it should say hello. It should change nothing but not return anything because strings, uh, like when you pass a string to a method, it's, it's, you're passing a copy. And then it prints out hello again. So if I run this, I should get two hellos. Hello, hello, and that's it. Uh, so strings are immutable, which means copies are passed uh, if you pass them to methods. Whereas for objects, you're passing the address, so the actual object gets changed. That's the biggest thing that I want to talk about in this section. Um, I guess you can talk about, uh, like if you reference an index of a string, um, that's not that's bigger than the actual string, then you'll get a you'll get an out of bounds exception. But this this is the the biggest thing. So there are three. I'm making a gesture with my hands. You can't see it. There are three. I guess data types that you can pass, and if you don't return them, they don't actually change because you pa you're passing copies. And those are at least on the AP test. Those are integers, doubles, and strings. However, if you pass an object to a method, you're actually passing the address. And when you change stuff at that address, it's actually changing the, uh, the original object. Even though strings are objects, they're treated a little bit differently in Java. And that's the biggest thing. And that's it. We're done. Have a good day.